Some Long Islanders have a tight connection with Puerto Rico and they know the Caribbean island people are going to need help. Now News 12's Andrew Enger picks up that part of the story from Bayshore. Hurricane Fiona may still be battering Puerto Rico, but some Long Islanders with a direct connection to the Caribbean island are already starting to gather relief supplies. We actually started speaking about this prior to the storm coming. The meetings were in full swing this evening in Bayshore. Discussions underway on what supplies will be needed immediately by the people of Puerto Rico in the wake of Hurricane Fiona. Hibaritos with Troops is a grassroots organization and they've done this before. In 2017, after Hurricane Maria, they shipped a million and a half pounds of supplies directly from Long Island. We palletized, we shipped, we flew down, we collected the pallets that was received on the other end, and then we distributed through a convoy of, you know, anybody who was there to help us. This time around, the organization knows help is going to be needed quickly. Everyone here knows someone in Puerto Rico, so watching videos of the destruction online is heartbreaking. It's really, really raining a lot in the center of the island. It's very dark. Much of Margarita Espada's family is trying to stay safe as the Category 1 hurricane batters the coastline and inland areas. Power is out across the island, and many fear flooding and possible mudslides. People here are glued to their smartphones looking for any updates. This tight connection between the two islands, organizers from Hiperitos with Troops says, makes them work even harder. So donations from this island get to those who need it the most. They know as Long Island came together and help over here. One island for the other. One island for the other. Hiberitos with Troops says once the storm passes, they'll know specifically what donations are needed, and they'll post that information on their Facebook and Instagram pages. Of course, we'll have those links on our website at news12.com under numbers and links. We're in Bayshore, Andrew Anger, News 12, Long Island. All right, thank you so much, Andrew. Well, Governor Kathy Hochul issuing a statement on Fiona, staying in part. New York and Puerto Rico share a special bond. She also says the state will deploy assistance to the island if it's requested by the federal government and Puerto Rico.